pretty sure this is AI, but it's kind of fun to see a thousand dice getting rolled all at once. So I was kind of curious, what is the probability in this scenario of getting exactly 500 even and exactly 500 odd? So this is for exactly, not close to 50-50, but exactly 50-50. So that would not include 499 even, 501 odd, or 498 even, 502 odd, or 502 even and 498 odd. None of those would be included. So what do you think it'll be? 10%? Is that too likely? 5%, 25%, 2.5%, maybe a half percent or something totally different. I'm kind of curious what people think it is before you do the math. Let me know your guess in the comments. So to find this probability, we can use these notes for binomial distribution. And then I also included these notes for combinations. This explains how to evaluate this piece of the binomial distribution. So for this purpose, we can let X equal an even number. So we wanna know what is the probability that the number of even dice is equal to 500 or in other words, X is equal to 500. Well, that's gonna be equal to the total number of dice, 1,000, choose the number of even dice that we want, 500. So we say 1,000 choose 500. And then P is the probability of getting one even die. Well, that's 0 0.5. And then once again, K is the number of even dice that we want, so that's gonna be 500. And the probability of an odd dice is 0.5, and we want 500 of those. So in summary, we do the total number of dice, choose the number that we want to be even, the probability of getting an even die to the power of how many even dice we want, then the probability of an odd die to the power of the number of odd dice that we want. For the next step, we can rewrite this 1,000 choose 500 using these notes here. It'll be the n factorial on top, which is 1,000 factorial, on bottom, we have the k factorial, which is 500 factorial, and then n minus k factorial would be 1,000 minus 500 factorial, which is 500 factorial. And then for the 0.5 to the 500 and the other 0.5 to the 500, we can add these two exponents to give us 0.5 to the 1,000. So now to evaluate this, this is gonna be a humongous number, and this is gonna be a tiny number. My calculator won't be able to handle it, so let's use Wolfram Alpha. And Wolfram Alpha tells us 0 0.025225, or in other words, 2.52%. So if we roll 1,000 dice, the probability that exactly 500 are even and 500 are odd is 2.52%. That's higher than I was expecting. What did you guys think? And now as a follow-up, let's just look at how big is this number. So the 1,000 factorial over 500 factorial times 500 factorial is this humongous number right here. 2.7 times 10 to the 299. I wonder if this is one of those numbers that's greater than the number of the atoms in the universe. I just checked, and yes, it is. And then let's check this part. It ends up being 1 divided by all this stuff, or this whole thing times 10 to the negative 302. So that is teeny tiny. But then when you multiply the really big by the teeny tiny, you end up with 2.52%. Now I'm kind of curious, what about these other scenarios? 499 even and 501 odd, that ends up being also 2.52%. But this one should be smaller than this one. Let's move them out a little bit. So this was 2.5225%. The 499 even and 501 odd would be 2.5175%. And then the 498 even and 502 odd, that would be 2.5024%. And then this one, the 502 even and 498 odd, that's gonna be the same thing as this one. It's also 2.5024%. And then if we take a bigger jump into this scenario, 480 even, 520 odd, this seems really rare to me. And the math comes out to 1.1341%, more common than I would have expected. So you have a greater than 1% chance of getting 480 even and 520 odd exactly. Let's go even rarer. So 470 and 530, what do you think that's gonna be? It ends up being 0.4173%. So you have less than half a percent to get that one. This is all gonna follow a normal distribution. As you get fewer and fewer even, your probability is gonna go lower and lower. How exciting.